what's going on guys so today I'll be unboxing this Sega Saturn that I bought from eBay so it's still in the box that it shipped in uh, yeah like I just said it came from eBay just got it came in yesterday I believe I already had two other things that I bought to go with it that came in and I already un unboxed this is just a, a, a battery for the Sega Saturn uh, I don't really know much about a Sega Saturn but I do know that sometimes the batteries in the Sega Saturn can go out, so I bought a extra, couple extra of those. And then I also bought a game, which is Daytona USA. Came in this kind of crappy like Xbox looking case, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, unboxing. So let me grab my knife and let's cut open this tape. I've never actually seen a Sega Saturn in person. At least not that I remember, so this is going to be a new experience for me. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a Sega Saturn or have ever, uh, ever played one. Be interesting to know. Come on. I guess I put my knife away prematurely. There we go. Alright, so let's see what's in here. So first of all, it actually looks packaged pretty well. Uh, like I said, it came from eBay, so I'm pretty impressed with the packaging so far. Usually eBay, usually people on eBay are not, you know, just don't care that much. But so far, really well packaged. That's nice, let me throw that to the side. And first, we've got a controller. All right, so I'll let you guys take a look at that real quick. So it's got six buttons over here. Looks like it says XYZ and ABC. It's got a start button and a D-pad and two uh, triggers. And it's corded. Pretty looks looks like a pretty long cord. All right, so let's see what else is in here. All right, so we got an AV cable, which is standard, and a power cable. Looks like a lot of the other power cables from that time period. And here is the actual console. And like I said, this is actually packaged really well. I'm impressed. And yeah, the rest of this is packaging, so let me throw that off to the side. And here is the actual console. So we got two ports in the front uh, for first player and second player. It says Sega. Uh, it's got a power button, a reset button, an open button. All right, so just a mechanical open. Press open and it pops open the top disc, or the top uh, tray, kind of like the Dreamcast. You ever seen one of those and what is this on the back so it looks like it's got a I don't know if you can see that it says cartridge input I don't know if that's like expandable memory or if you can or if the Sega Saturn actually had cartridges I'm not sure actually all right so on the back here we got the looks like that's where the AV cable goes and either one of those actually I think is where AV can go and that is the power and there's all this other slot over here that I read about. I believe this is where the battery is supposed to go. Let me see if I can get this open. What in the world. All right, so yeah, I got that open. And as you can see, there's a, my lighting might not be good enough, but looks like there's a little battery in there. So I don't really read up too much on it, but I think if the battery goes bad, then you know your saves will not save the console or something like that. I'm not really sure. I honestly don't know too much about the Sega Saturn, but got one from eBay. I believe with the console and with the controller and the power cable and all that stuff it was uh, about a hundred bucks, I think. So you know, kind of kind of expensive for a console sold, but it's cool. Uh, I wanted to experience it, and I will be doing a foreign disc video on this. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for that. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed seeing this Sega Saturn flashback to the past. Got the console, the controller, all the cables and a game. And make sure to watch out for a foreign disc video in the future. And thanks for watching, hope you have a great day.